Spooky 2 Scalar Tuning Hello everyone, in this video we will talk about Spooky 2 Scalar Tuning. When Spooky 2 Scalar is operating, it becomes part of the environment, working in harmony with the surroundings. The process of tuning Spooky 2 Scalar ensures optimum results, but what is the ideal frequency? Some people find that frequencies above 6 MHz are ideal. Others discover that their scalar device tunes below 5 MHz. There are many factors explaining why the scalar units differ so much. We will discuss some of them now. The length of the link cable alters the tuning frequency significantly. The cable forms part of the tuning circuit. If the length changes, so too will the optimum frequency. A 13-foot link cable may tune at 5.1 MHz, and the extra-long link cable tune at 5.6 MHz. This is all perfectly normal. Loops or kinks in the link cable will also alter the tuning frequency. If the link cable is not laid straight, the electricity will not flow so easily. Placing the link cable on the floor or walls may affect the tuning frequency, especially concrete floors and walls, as these usually have metal reinforcing. Metal absorbs the energy flowing through the link cable, reducing the signal strength. The optimum frequency will change as a result. Electrically noisy environments will also affect the tuning frequency. If Spooky 2 Scalar is being set up in a workplace, equipment EMF interacts with the pure signals of Spooky 2 Scalar. The same scalar unit will tune to a different frequency if it is set up in a home where the electrical noise is reduced. Seasonal changes will offset the tuning frequency as well. The tuning frequency of Spooky 2 between sweltering summers and the depths of winter will change. This is why we recommend retuning 30 minutes after turning on. So what does this all mean? It means there is no absolute ideal frequency for Spooky 2 Scalar. For every installation, there will be a different ideal. The process of tuning will discover the optimum frequency. So how do we know that Spooky 2 Scalar is tuned correctly? The most common question we are asked is, how do we know that Spooky 2 Scalar is not producing EMF instead of scalar waves? When Spooky 2 Scalar is first turned on, the output frequency automatically goes to 8 MHz. This is the maximum frequency. Turning the frequency knob anti-clockwise, the frequency is reduced. The first peak in the indication light indicates that the ideal scalar frequency has been found. The frequency range when the light illuminates is quite broad. If you find that the indication light is brightest at 5.2 MHz, Spooky 2 Scalar will still function correctly above and below this exact value. If you continue to turn the tuning knob anti-clockwise, the indication light will extinguish. And then will come back on. This second lower frequency is the EMF operating frequency. It is the confirmation that the scalar frequency was found in the previous step. Thanks for watching this video.